What's going on? I'm Eric Hutchinson. I'm here in the Young Hollywood studio, and this is my song, Watching You Watch Him. Love you from the bottom of my heart. That's not gonna change, but things are grim. And I am watching you watch him. What's up, guys? Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with Eric Hutchinson. Yes, how yes. are you? Good, how are you? Great, this is an amazing setup you guys have here. Well, Eric, you've done all the talk shows. I have done a lot of them, yeah. Is yeah. there one you know? You've done Leno, you've done all of them, Conan, all of them. Yeah, the one that was cool we got to do was we did uh, Conan when he was on The Tonight Show, sort of that small window there. So oh. I've got the, the door placard from that, a little bit of a collector's item at this point. So that was cool. Got Those my are bragging rights. Because wait, how long a window was that that he Not did? Long. Who was on that night with you? Seth, Is that like Seth a big Rogen. deal? When I you... get excited, I get yeah. excited, yeah. Seth Rogen was on and uh, Rose Byrne. So moving up, living down, I've heard is about growing up in a yeah. sense. Yeah, it's about growing up, it's about transitions. Um, I grew up, when I, when I wrote my first album, I was living with my parents still in, my, uh, in the same house I grew up in in Maryland, and then I moved to New York City. And the new album's kind of about all that, you know, kind of moving up, but the living down is kind of being true to yourself and settling down and, and kind of just, you know, getting into young adulthood, I guess. I think the first single off the album is Watching You Watch Him. Yeah. Is that, did that come from a personal, from an experience? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's kind of been in that relationship where, you know, you're in love with somebody and they're in love with somebody else and that person doesn't love either of you, so it's like this <laughs> effed up love triangle. He never gives attention, but you still yearn. Where do I fit in? When I am watching you, watch him. And uh, yeah, I kind of wrote that song and then, you know, it's been really cool. When I play it, people people come and tell me afterwards, oh, you know, it's so, you're singing my life, you know? And it's, right. it's always cool to, to write something that comes from me and, and be able to connect with other people. Yeah. And, Can I tell you from a girl's perspective? Yeah, sure. Watching you watch her is pretty much every guy when you walk down the street and a hot girl goes by. So when you're with somebody, <laughs> you see them looking at the person. Yes, yeah, and they yeah. try to pretend like they're not looking, but guys are not that subtle that way. Right, right. He will let you crash and, burn. and you're going to be touring? Yeah, I'm going to be touring soon, and uh, the dates are all up on my website. I'm going to be everywhere, including Toronto, where I know you're from. He's very observant. I mean, I, I really have gotten to play everywhere in America, which has been really great. I mean, Chicago, San Francisco, Austin, are some of the ones up the top of my head. Boston, I grew, I went to college there, so I always love going there. Do you get more love when you are like playing in your hometown or your home? Maybe like in DC, you know, there'll be more, but I actually get a little more stressed out in hometown places, you know? It's, then there's like, there's more people to worry about. It's not even the pressure of like them performing, but it's every one of them's texting you up five minutes before, hey, right. I can't get in. Can you get me in right. somehow? And then if you don't, you become the big star, and now you're a jerk, exactly. you're a big star, and you forgot the little people. <laughs> you just can't make everybody happy. Exactly. What about so. mom and dad? I hope you they come. They'll let yes. you live with them for yes. wait, how long? Yeah, okay. a little while. <laughs> Who remembers? So let's take you back on the couch when All you right. were eight years old <laughs> and you it. wrote your first song. That's what I heard. That was when you were eight years old. I did. I wrote my first song when I was eight uh, with the help of my music teacher, Mrs. Burnett. Shout out to Mrs. Burnett. Hi, Mrs. Burnett. I doubt she watches. She's, Are you still in contact? She's not young or in Hollywood, so. I kind of was always interested in singing, and for, I guess she suggested, you know, we should really write your song down. That's what you do with yeah. a song. So she wrote out the sheet music for it, and I still have that, and it's framed in my in my office where I write songs now and everything, so it's, it's cool. Do you ever play it, like, as an adult? Uh, it's not that good of a song, <laughs> unfortunately. It's, it's more of a ditty. It was asking big questions, like, why does Popeye close one eye? You know? <laughs> That's so Things cute. we've never solved, by the way. We never Listen, figured that stuff out. I'm curious about that. I want to know. <laughs> and I heard that Perez Hilton was sort of like really influential and yeah, sort of Perez like is, got is behind a, is a real, you. Yeah, a friend and really big supporter. When I, my last album came out, he put it up on his website and, and it 
kind of blew up overnight and, and got me a lot of great attention that I wouldn't have gotten, so it's really cool. So what's he like behind the scenes? He's just, really, he just loves music and movies and couldn't be nicer to me. It's a good person to have on your side. Yeah, I think He's so. He's got a little bit of a following. I saw something on your YouTube page mm -hmm. about pickup lines. Yes. Somebody asked you if you were good at pickup lines. I'm not. But you're a writer. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You're a writer. I know, I like to think about things for a long time and then perfect them and then present them to people. So present I guess. Present them in song. Exactly. So I guess I could, you know, think of a lot of pickup lines ahead of time. But Any I, ones that have worked in particular or gotten you a slap across the face? I've never been slapped. You won't use your music to, to woo women. That's, yeah, I guess so. I always felt like... Um, That's a musician's big I, ace in the hole. I know. You know. I mean, I, I use the... Uh, I don't like to use it at first. A lot of times I wouldn't tell people I was a musician or I wouldn't let them hear the music for a while if I'm, you know, if I was dating somebody. But then when I felt like it was really going well and I wanted to make it a, a relationship, then you write the song for the girl. And then oh, there's... Oh, that's very romantic. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for coming in. I'm watching you watch him. And I am watching you watch him.